Well, those rain chances are going to be going up here for Monday, as we saw just a moment ago, and that is going to correlate with a risk of some inclement weather here in our area. But before we get further into that, we'll just take a quick look here at our current conditions right now across northeast Kansas. 61 degrees here at our Menninger Hill camera in Topeka. That's exactly what it feels like with the dew point at 52 degrees. That's getting fairly close to the actual temperature, so that definitely tells us here that sort of humidity is on on the rise visibility at about eight miles. We're seeing a little bit of a reduction there, I think, because we have had some rain move through uh, the general area here, at least some light showers on and off so far this morning. But that will quick, quickly be clearing up as we head towards the afternoon. Southeast winds at 10 miles per hour are going to give us one of the warmest days we've seen in quite some time. Ever since the spring season started here on March 19th, we've actually been relatively average for our temperatures uh, over this course of uh, that time period. But the next 10 days, especially today, are going to bring us more into an above average pattern, sort of keeping in line with what's been the trend here for most of February and March. It looks like as we head into April, we'll be seeing more 70 and potentially 80 degree days uh, ahead of us. But with that warmer weather, at least today and likely tomorrow, is going to uh, help us elevate those chances of seeing some thunderstorms in the forecast. Now, earlier this morning, we had a slight chance of seeing some thunderstorms. Didn't really pan out, but we have gotten a little bit of some showers moving through our northeastern counties here uh, that will sort of continue to disperse as we head towards this afternoon. Looking at a dry afternoon, probably a little less cloud cover, though I still think we're going to be mostly cloudy. Heading into tonight, though, is probably when we'll see those chances rebound a little bit. Not exactly a strong chance here either, but there is a risk of being on the very edge of a zone of severe weather that's more so centered in Missouri. Uh, you can see the model here not even really picking up on any development for this period, so we might escape without really seeing all that much, but it is something, again, that is warranted because we are within that marginal risk here for most of our counties. Even if we do see a stronger storm develop out of this, it's likely to move very quickly to the east out of our area, and that's sort of the deal for tomorrow as well on Monday. Uh, we are now shifted a little bit further away from that severe threat here. As you can see, a slight to enhanced risk is now more so in the extreme southeastern part of the state, Topeka no longer within that marginal ranking. And how that's probably going to play out is with a long line of storms forming here that will likely be severe close to our area. So it's something we're going to pay attention to as we look towards tomorrow evening. But in all likelihood, I think we are not going to be the prime target here of that system. We still could see some thunderstorms after that, and those rain chances are elevated to begin with there on Monday. So uh, it will be something we watch closely. For today, though, 80 degrees very warm and cloudy, probably dry for the entirety of the afternoon. But by the time we head to tonight, we might see a little bit of some rain, an isolated thunderstorm or two in the area as low temperatures stay well above 50 degrees. Once again, we'll be cooling down slightly and drying out heading towards the rest of the week.